I am just about to tell you about the reason to come to Russia and I'm in the yard where I grew up. This is my childhood home and my school is five minute walk from here and my whole life starting from 1997 till 2012 was here. So this is my bed, it's a large one, <laughs> uh, TV, internet, Russian books, classics. This is where I did my makeup, my big mirror. This is where I was working on Lingua Trip. this is where I was working on our first website. Um, so my desk, all of the ideas come from here. In Russia, uh, you don't do like one bedroom. So one bedroom apartment is what you see now one bedroom that's it no living room uh, we have a separate kitchen but if you say like two bedroom apartment that means that you only have two rooms there is no living room um, so yeah there is this small kitchen uh, washing machine very like I don't know very standard Russian you would see many apartments like this but what I really like about my apartment is the location there is the swimming pool just across the street. This is where I went when I was seven years old. This is where I did my ballet as well, because they have ballet classes and um, like real Russian ballet and swimming pool. And the metro station is 10 minute walk and it's very close to center. So if you take an Uber, it's like 15 minute drive. This apartment is pretty close to the city center. So we're actually right now on Petrogradsky Island where St. Petersburg started. This is the exact place where Tsar Peter the Great came and he said, wow, I love this place. <laughs> the capital of Russia is gonna be here and St. Petersburg is to be capital of Russia for some time. And he built the city from scratch. He asked people to bring stones here because it was all in water. But yeah, this is Petrogradsky Island where the city started and the city center is like 15 minute drive on Uber. And if you decide to stay in my apartment and your school would be like located in the center, an Uber ride would be like, 250 maybe three dollars and it's gonna take you 15 minutes you can also take underground metro which is 10 minutes walk from here to stations to the center but yeah i prefer taking uber because it's so cheap but also experience st petersburg metro is very beautiful it has really beautiful stations this is the bathroom i don't know whether i should show the toilet in this video but this is so traditional this is what we made in 1997 picture on the wall very russian like all of the ornaments <laughs> oriental russian style this is how it looks like i hope you guys are going to come and visit my place pretty soon let me know if you're coming down in comments below this is one of the first books uh, about the united states i've got you see um in russia it's typical for you to put your book in this what plastic thing <laughs> so it looks like new if you decide to sell it or it just lasts longer oh my god this is me writing back at school and yeah we were learning a lot about the united states at school this was part of my english class oh ellis island i just uh i just saw it in new york about two weeks ago i couldn't even dream about it when i was reading this book yeah ellis island immigration island wow so cool Raven. <laughs> Hello doggy. If you look at that building, this is exactly where I got my degree. Um, masters and bachelors in economics in Russia. Here, St. Petersburg State University. We actually had three buildings, all of them around this park. Look what kind of company I have today. During my lunch, he just lives in the restaurant. The reason to come to Russia is because the food here is so amazing and compared to American prices it's also cheap. This is one of my favorite salads. Um, it's called herring under coat, under fur coat. Uh, so it has herring, red beet, egg, uh, carrot. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is dish number one. I will show you the total cost at the end of this meal. So Dima is having sushi. He just ate the first one was mm, it good it was amazing was it is it crab no it's uh, shrimp oh shrimp okay so the thing about russian restaurants we love sushi so much that every restaurant will have sushi in the menu and it's the best sushi ever yeah? yeah yeah look for restaurants which are this brand they're always really good mm. 
dish number two has arrived. This is um, chicken soup. And Russia is actually a soup nation. When I was a child, my mom would always give me soup at least once a day, normally during lunch. And actually lunch in Russia is one of the largest meals because we have soup, then we have a hot dish, and then we have dessert. So yeah, this is a very popular soup. It's just chicken and noodles and carrot. And it's really good. So if you're in Russia, try to try, to try as many soups as you can. The reason why you have to eat soups is because they help you with digestion and also if you come to Russia starting November till like April when it's cold it really helps you heat up and warm up from the inside Chicken, 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 chicken Mmm, chicken No? Seriously? Oh, here we go, here we go Good girl, good girl Mmm, yummy So the drink has arrived it's also a traditional Russian drink. It's um, raspberry mors. So mors, I don't know whether you can translate it. Better, better don't because otherwise you won't get what you need. So you take jam and you just mix it with water and you get mors. Um, also one of my favorites, um, I really like cranberry because uh, it's also good for your body. Um, but this one is really tasty. Okay, another dish has arrived. This is mackerel with potatoes and Russia is a potato nation, 100%. Oh, more. <laughs> when I first came to the UK and stayed with local people, I was surprised that we've never had potatoes during my two week stay. I was like, do you even eat potatoes? Because in Russia, I would have potatoes for lunch, dinner, and maybe breakfast as well. Good? Actually, not 100% good, but okay. It's like Edible. <laughs> animal, yeah. Luckily, we have somebody else to test whether the fish is good or not. Is there more into enthusiasm compared to chicken? Yeah, you were right. Oh my god, it smells so good. No? Yeah, Even cat doesn't want it. Okay. She's gonna bite me. Sometimes restaurants give you compliments. This is a free chewing gum and let's look at the bill. So what we have here, so it's 3000 rubles, which is around $50 for two. Um, this is a high quality restaurant. I would say this is like top chain of restaurants in Russia. Another thing you should know about tipping in Russia, we don't have this thing as in the United States where you can just write down how much tip you're gonna leave and then they're gonna charge it from your card. So you need to ask the waiter to include 10% in your total cost and then she would charge it um, everything from your card. And this is the only way to, le to leave tips if you are paying by credit card. So Russian. This is so Russian. I don't know if I can take it, but I'll take it. It, yeah, feels, <laughs> it feels a little old because it's like stone. This is traditional Russian um, dessert and I got it for free. Mmm, so good. It's like, um, so it's, technically if you translate it from Russian, uh, from Russian into English, it's gonna be gingerbread. But this doesn't have ginger, but it's still so good. We came to see one of my favorite houses in St. Petersburg. Uh, this is a new one but it's built in the old St. Petersburg style and this uh, is on Kristovsky Island and this street is called Deputy Street because you know why? Because there, those houses are houses of Russian ministers, well not ministers, deputies who serve the state, who serve the city and look how cool they are. They're so so beautiful. Again, this is a really high-end building and this is a high-end area. I think apartment prices start with $500,000 in this building. But look what you get. Have you guys heard of the company called Gazprom? It's a monopoly here in Russia to produce gas and they are building one of the tallest buildings in St. Petersburg right now. It reminds me of Salesforce Tower in, uh, in San Francisco. It looks really similar. There was a lot of debate because it dominates St. Petersburg skyline. But I think it brings a modern, fresh look to the city. Hello, ducky. Hello, ducky. 
Again, this island is called Krestovsky Island and if you want to get the atmosphere of Russian high-end life of great parks and beautiful buildings um, you go to the Krestovsky Island metro station and just walk around. I really really like this place. to one of the coolest shopping streets in Russia which is called Bolshaya Kanushina Street I don't think you'll remember it this is the street that has all of the shops that you need like Louis Vuitton do you need it? <laughs> oh what? free water thank you <laughs> free water with cherry and we're going to one of the largest shops in Russia which is called DLT it's quite an experience to go there you can see wealthy Russians walking around uh, with their families and shopping and you might see them wearing a lot of furs even if it's summer uh, but I'll show you Okay, makeup shopping done 